One of the most commonly asked questions when individuals reach out to us at Chop Dog is, what should I do? Should I go and build a fully functioning product and generate millions in revenue? Should I just pitch my idea to investors? All over the internet, you're gonna find all these different solutions, all these different routes. But let us come today and present a whole new route that you might have never considered before. This is an MVP or an NFP. So for context, let's start off. An NFP is a non-functional prototype. Keyword there is non-functional. This is the same design process that you would go and design with any app. Doesn't matter if you're building something the size of Facebook or as small as for a nonprofit. You design them all the same way, with the same level of detail and care. The difference here is the programming, the development, the coding. This is where the bulk of the money usually goes and gets invested into these projects. A non-functional prototype lets you skip that for now. Instead, you can create the illusion of it functioning for those to use. What is an MVP? The real term is minimum viable product. This is the minimum amount of features that you need to bring your app idea to life and validate that it can make money, that users will actually want to use it. Now, note here, this does not mean it is a half-assed product. A minimum viable product is the bare bones of an app, just the foundational layer. Nothing more than the essentials needed. This is a fully functioning product, so you can get real users on it. You'll use this if you already have validated that people would want to use it, but can you execute? Can you generate money? Can you generate revenue? Can you actually obtain users? Will people want to keep using it? That's where the term minimum viable comes from. You're trying to validate that this app will work with the bare minimum. How do you do this? It's simple. If you take away one feature from an MVP, your app should not work. This is important to understand. If you could take a feature away from what you're game planning and your app will still function, that means it's not a feature needed for day one for your MVP. A non-functional prototype lets you demonstrate your idea, the exact pixel for pixel, what your app will look like to anyone, anywhere. It doesn't matter if you're using an iPhone device, an Android device, or a web device. In fact, you can take an iPhone app, turn it into a non-functioning prototype, and send it to someone on their computer to use. This is for individuals that need to validate their concept. Maybe it's to go and raise capital. Maybe it's to go and get pre-orders to a product. Maybe it's to go get crowdfunding. A non-functional prototype is a great way to mitigate your investment risk before you put in more capital for programming. A non-functional prototype will not function. You will not have real users on it day one. You will not have real money being generated on it day one. So what's it good for? Well, for starters, if you're not sure, hey, I will have enough capital to go and raise investment for this or B, hey, I definitely don't have enough money to program this, or C, I don't even know if real people would want to use this. Here's where a non-functional prototype comes in handy, because you will design the app the exact same way you would design a fully polished product. Let me repeat that, because it's important here. A non-functional prototype is the same designs that you will have with a MVP or with a fully polished product. The difference, however, is that instead of going to programming where the bulk of your costs come from, you prototype it. You create the illusion of it functioning. And you can use this on any device. You can give it to someone on their iPhone, on an Android device, on a computer, and you can get the real feedback. In use case scenarios, it could be to raise money. This could be with investors. This could be through crowdfunding. This could be to get pre-orders, to get people hyped up, say, I will sign a year contract to be the first customer on this, which you can use to fund your app. That's the difference between an MVP and an NFP. It's important for you to figure out early on, is your job to go and demonstrate in order to raise capital, to prove the concept, or is it I want to make money, I want to prove I can make money, I want to prove I can get users. And depending on the answer, will help you dictate if you want to go a non-functional prototype route or a minimal viable product route.